In this tutorial, we will be learning how to set a specific PMS color to objects and text in your document. I'm not going to explain the Pantone color charts. If you want to know more about that, there is a plethora of information out there. Just remember, Google is your friend. What you do need to know is that your company more than likely has a defined Pantone number for its colors. Now, I work at Evangel University in Springfield, Missouri, and our school colors are maroon and white. There are literally hundreds of shades of maroon, but ours is PMS 209. So how do we go about setting this in our document? Well, we're going to take a look at two examples. The first one is changing this background color to PMS 209, and the second, we're going to change this text to that color. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just go ahead and click on this square. We'll go up to the Format tab, Shape Fill, and More Fill Colors. We'll see we have standard colors to choose from, custom color we can choose from, and Pantone. So all we need to do is look up Pantone 209. So we're just going to highlight the text in this box and say 209, find, and here we go, Pantone 209. We can do the same thing with the text. We're just going to highlight the text. We're actually going to go to the Format tab for the Text Box Tools. Click on the font color, More Colors. Pantone, once again, 209, find, there it is, and there we have it. Now you notice that once I've already used the color in my document, if I click on the shape fill, I will get a recent colors box down here with some of the colors that I've used. Um, you can use that, so if you've already used the color once and you need to use it again. However, as you start using lots of different colors, they will show up across here and you may not know that you're picking the exact correct one. So if you just hover over top of it, you'll notice that it does give you um, the Pantone 209. There we go. So I know I'm choosing the right color. And there you go. It's that simple. That concludes our tutorial on how to use a specific PMS color inside of your publisher document.